Hey guys, you man. Welcome back to our echocardiography register review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question if you don't have time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive into this thing. When performing an upright bicycle stress echocardiogram, at what point do you obtain your peak images? A, within 90 seconds after bicycle starts to slow down. B, during peak exercise. C, within 60 seconds before peak exercise is reached. Or D, within two minutes after exercise has stopped. The answer is B, during peak exercise. Which will not happen during a stress echocardiogram in a patient with severe coronary artery disease? And click all that apply. SC depression, hypotension, ejection fraction decreases, left ventricle condenses. The answer is left ventricle condenses. The left ventricle will actually dilate. Which is not a physical sign of congestive cardiomyopathy? A. Holosystolic murmurs. B. Sinus tachycardia. C. Pressure pulses alternance. Or D. Chest pain. The answer is D, chest pain. This is actually a subjective sign. Which is the correct order of cardiac excitation? A, AV node, bundle branches, SA node, bundle of hiss, and then Purkinje fibers. B, SA node, bundle branches, AV node, bundle of hiss, and then Purkinje fibers. C, SA node, AV node, bundle branches, bundle of hiss, and then Purkinje fibers. Or is it D, SA node, AV node, bundle of hiss, bundle branches, and then Purkinje fibers. The answer is D. SA node, AV node, bundle of hiss, bundle branches, and then Purkinje fibers. What happens at the end of the video compared to the beginning? A. Normal wall motion or no change. B. Inferior septal hypokinesis. C. Inferior lateral wall hypokinesis. Or is it D. Inferior wall hypokinesis. So this is the beginning. And this is the end. So what's going on? What changed, if anything? So the answer is B, inferior septal hypokinesis. And you will be able to see that in this view here. This is before. And then right now you can see that it is hypokinetic right here. What is the arrow pointing to? A, VV ECMO. B, VA ECMO. C, impeller device or D swan scans. The answer is D swan scans. Which describes the PR interval? A end of the P wave to the start of the R wave, B, onset of the P wave to the start of the R wave, C, onset of the P wave to the start of the Q wave, or is it D, end of the P wave to the start of the S wave? The answer is C, the onset of the P wave to the start of the Q wave, or when the amplitude increases or starts from the P wave to the end or 
when the Q wave starts. When performing a treadmill stress echocardiogram, at what point do you obtain your peak images? A, within 90 seconds after a bicycle starts to slow down. B, during peak exercise. C, within 60 seconds before peak exercise is reached. Or D, within two minutes after exercise has stopped. The answer is D, within two minutes after exercise has stopped. What does the false positive mean when regarding to stress echocardiography? A, the stress test will not show disease when the patient does not have disease. B, the stress test will not show disease when the patient does have disease. C, the stress test will show disease when the patient does have disease. Or is it D, the stress test will show disease when the patient does not have disease? The answer is D. The stress test will show disease when the patient does not have disease. What does this image show? A. EV ECMO. B. Right atrial tumor. C. Eustachian valve. Or D. Swan scans catheter. The answer is the Swan Scans catheter right there. When performing a supine treadmill stress echocardiogram, at what point do you obtain your peak images? A, within 90 seconds after bicycle starts to slow down. B, during peak exercise. C, within 60 seconds before peak exercise is reached. Or is it D, within 90 seconds after exercise is stopped? The answer is B, during peak exercise. What is the gold standard for diagnosing coronary artery disease? A, echocardiogram, B, angiogram, C, stress echocardiogram, or D, PET scan? The answer is B, angiogram. Click in the area where severe mitral regurgitation could be seen. The answer is right here in the left atrium. When does the left to right patent foramenal valley shunt end? A. Just before IVRT starts. B just after IVRT ends, C, just before IVCT starts, or D, just after IVCT ends. The answer is A, just before IVRT starts. Why would you ever need to put a patient in a Trendelenburg position? A. Hypotension B. Unstable shortness of breath C. Unstable chest pain or D. Ventricular tachycardia The answer is A. Hypotension which is not contraindicated for a transesophageal echocardiogram? A. Blood thinners, B. Dysphagia, C. Allergies to medication, or D. Hypertension. The answer is 
A, blood thinners. During an agitated bubble study, when would bubbles start crossing from the right to left atrium? A, just before IVRT starts. B, just after IVRT ends. C, just before IVCT starts. Or is it D, just after IVCT ends? The answer is C, just before IVCT starts. How many LV segmental walls are there? A16, B17, C6, or D18? The answer is B17. What does a false negative mean when regarding stress echocardiography? A. The stress test will not show disease when the patient does not have disease. B. The stress test will not show disease when the patient does have disease. C. The stress test will show disease when the patient does not have disease. Or is it D. The stress test will show disease when the patient does not have disease. The answer is B. The stress test will not show disease when the patient does have disease. When does a ventricular septal defect shunt end? A. Just before IVRT starts. B. Just after IVRT ends. C. Just before IVCT starts. Or is it D. Just after IVCT ends? The answer is A, just before IVRT starts. What is the normal R to R interval timing? A, 0.6 to 1.2 milliseconds. B, 0.6 to 1.2 seconds. C, less than 0.6 milliseconds. Or is it D, 0.12 to 0.20 seconds? The answer is B, 0.6 to 1.2 seconds. The apex is what segmental number? A16, B17, C2, or D1? The answer is B, 17. Click on the left atrial appendage. The left atrial appendage is right here. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming echo boards, feel free to reach out to me at ultrasoundboardreview at demo.com or you can personally text or call at 435-922-1635. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardview.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.